Do you believe in angels? Well, according to some polls, three quarters of Americans do. But if you're among the skeptics, you might want to change your mind when you see this next story. Here's NBC's Ron Mott. Let me kiss me. Colleen Banton didn't expect her disabled daughter, Chelsea, to see her 15th birthday. But she's now the gift of the season for this family. You're seven. Can you count them? A family counting its every blessing. We've been praying for a miracle. And um, I think this is the beginning of it. Back in September, pneumonia had pushed Chelsea toward death's door in a Charlotte hospital. Here she is with big sister Kaylee, who thought she was saying her final goodbyes. Yet an hour after life support was removed, jaws began to drop among some hospital workers over what appeared at another door near the teenager's room. And this image appeared up on the security monitor. And um, it was an image of an angel. And um, I thought, well... Either that's the angel coming to uh, take her to heaven, or it's an angel to say that she's getting better. And she got better all right, almost immediately, Mom says. And the doctors and the nurses were all amazed. The mother took this cell phone picture of the image, bright bands of light only visible on the hospital security monitor. The hospital confirms that some of its workers told the family they saw something as well. It's a blessing. Uh, It's a miracle. And um, I'm learning not to take things for granted. It's an emotional story to tell. And just off camera, Chelsea herself begins to cry at the sight of her mom breaking up. Please don't cry. (sighs) It's okay. It's okay. And because she's okay for now, the focus is on celebrations. Her 15th birthday is right around the corner. This will be a special birthday. Who knows, it could be her last, but um, she's come this far, and uh, I'm not giving up now. A birthday that comes every Christmas, but this year, it's touched by an angel. For today, Ron Mott, NBC News, Mm -hmm. Atlanta. Reverend Dr. Susan Johnson Cook, a.k.a. Reverend Dr. Sue Jay, and also Rabbi Erwin Kula, the author of the book Yearnings, are here to give us their thoughts about whether angels really do exist. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. morning. Hmm, what do you make of all of this? What do you think? I think angels really do exist. She said it was a special birthday, and for us in this season, this is a special birthday that we celebrate, which was announced by an angel that Jesus Christ was going to be born. So I believe angels exist, and that's where we get guardian angels, that they protect us, they walk amongst us. I see actually a little tear in your eye. Yeah, you I was crying with the this. mom. I was mm. really moved, yeah, because I understand how special that is for her when you're at the point of where you think you're trans- you know, transitioning into death, but new life begins, but that's what a miracle is it's time for new life you know you, you, you can never convince people who don't believe in angels that there are or people who who believe there are angels that there aren't i think the the real question is can we actually be open to surprise can we can we imagine that the unpredictable and the unexpected can happen and our lives simply are richer when we believe that albert einstein once said there are two ways to look at the world as if everything is a miracle or as if nothing is a miracle. And I think that's the real choice we have. And so these these stories, whether angel, no angel, whether the light is a camera misfunction or not, is not the issue. The issue is what are we willing to notice about life? I think some people looking at that image may say that looks like the sunlight on the wall. So is this really something that requires faith, do you think, Reverend Dr.? Oh, without question. Faith is the belief in things that are unseen, the evidence of things unseen. This for this mother and this family was the evidence of things unseen. And so we must always hold on to that faith in the sovereignty of God and in the presence of God. And people are looking for a miracle right about now. So Whatever. You think more and more people may be re- reaching out for Without this. Without question. Uh, yes. I think the real issue is can we be open to wonder? You know, here's, here's the doctor said it's over. The doctor said they pulled the plug. I mean, that's really what happened. And can we still, even at the very last moment, at the very darkest moment, whether it's the darkest moment of winter when we believe one candle can last or whether the birth of a baby child can wind up moving towards a whole world, can we actually be open to the new possibilities that are always there? And that, of course, it takes faith. It is about actually trusting.
You know, you're saying that actually at a very poignant time because a lot of people are wondering if they can be open now. You know, and, and let me just, just give you some numbers. Um, the Economist quotes polls that say that more Republicans than Democrats are, are uh, believe in angels, more <laughs> Southerners than Northeasterners believe in angels, uh, and that. And we talked earlier that three quarters of Americans believe in angels. I, I think what, it, but what are angels? Uh, what, angels? What do we think they are? Messengers. Right. Messengers. I mean, the Hebrew word is malak. Right. Messengers. They bring the good news of hope and cope, um, coping and hoping. And so I think they're messengers that say to us that there is a time to be open to wonder again. I carry my angel with me. I wear my angel. Are they them. people who've been who died who've come back? They can be anything. I think what we have to do is actually move the question from do we believe in angels to can we actually be angels? There are mm. angels all over in our lives. You know, you're you, you you're driving and you get a flat tire and somebody stops out of nowhere. You can choose to say that's an angel. You can choose to say how lucky and coincidental that that happened. Or the people that come into our lives at difficult moments and right at those moments they seem to be there. You're having a bad day and a child looks at you and smiles and all of a sudden you feel better. Is that an angel or is that a child smiling? Mm. That's really a choice of what it is we're going to notice. Well, on those Thank notes, you. those good words, I think we're going to have to leave it, Rabbi and Dr. Reverend Doctor, thank you, thank so, you much so much for having me this morning. And uh, obviously here, the vote is yes. The vote is yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, thank, happy holidays to you both.